Hello and welcome to probably our final recording of Alone in the Dark. We're doing it off stream. Because I didn't feel like doing it on stream. Because we have so many games we're going through. If you fart when you're alone in the dark, does it make a smell? <laughs> oh, Lord. This is so weird considering what we were just doing. Oh, hey, the sound glitch is back. I'm glad it never left us. It will always be. <coughs> Excuse me. It will forever be with you. Always. Oh, yeah, no, it's, it's definitely. Oh, my God, it's here. It's here to stay. Okay, now it oh now the now the sound came back. Oh, so I think we have to go up to Jeremy's room. I think it's this way. We haven't played this in weeks and I still remember. That's sad. not we're still missing a couple of the secret items a ghostly voice sounding like Jeremy called out for help Emily couldn't quite understand where the voice was coming from it somehow seemed to be a part of the place itself. All she could make out was that Jeremy was stuck and needed her to get the steamboat running. I forgot I could do that. So that's not where we have to go. Bolt the door. So we still have a key. Okay, so we're here. So Ruth's room still has a key. Dr. Gray's office still has a key. Okay. This open. Yeah, that one we got open earlier. So where is the what? last puzzle in here? Can you show the map again? So which room? Okay, so you're in that room. It says it's up by the door. It's right. No, so if you're not not there, if you're looking on the other at it on side, the side, right? No, it's on this side. It's not there. See oh, it is. Huh. Did it do that thing where it's not reading the, the puzzles? No, completed? try and go around. Maybe it is on the outside. Yeah, go through that door. <laughs> I'm sorry, that is not on purpose. I'm legitimately still used to the controls from the last game we were playing. Maybe it's on this side? Where the bookcase is? It would be where the bookcase is if it was on this side. Yeah, I think we finished that the... puzzle and it's not reading it. Well, hang on. Well, look back at your map. Okay, it definitely says it's on the inside. Hmm. Okay, yeah, keep going. Go back in to where you were. You open 
It's definitely that safe. And so, kneel down next to the safe and see if there's anything in it that you can grab. Can I kneel? No. Nope. Should be able to crouch. <laughs> yeah, because you can sneak, can't you? You can crouch. Oh, you can't. You can't do anything, right? Yeah, there. I can do that. Nope. Yeah, no, I think what it is is we finished the puzzle and it's not reading it properly. That's which I did see was an issue day one, but I thought they fixed it. Uh, but you know what happens with patches. Yeah. One fixes one and then when they raise the next one, it breaks the same fucking thing again. It <sighs> seems like that's what happened. Let's head over to Ruth's. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, let's check out some of these other rooms. Maybe we can find some more puzzles. Maybe it'll it'll log off on its own. There's another, yeah, there's another puzzle and another, although it did say that we didn't have the item to solve the puzzle, so maybe there's a, something that we have to do there different. I'm just gonna look around everywhere, just in case. Well, all the blue Please. rooms should be clear. Yeah, this isn't setting off either, even though this is... Well, look at the... <sighs> like, you, I, you always have to go by the map, because if you don't go by the map, then you might not be in the... Okay, so this is. That's Dr. why I was Greg thinking of coming Walker. into this way, see if we missed anything. But no. Maybe. No, because nothing's setting off. Yeah, I think it's one of those where it's just not reading it is done, or it wants us to come back at the very, very end. Because we opened uh, the safe, it won't let us take anything else out. All right, well, there's two other door rooms on this floor that have shit. They're on the other side, though. So you got to go up and around, or you can go to... Actually, there's one room back there that has still has a puzzle in it, and there's also a room that appears you haven't been into yet. Because it's not... It doesn't have anything on it. See how that room is gray? Yep. That's where we're going to be making our way. Making my way down. <sighs> I believe that's the second room. So yeah, you still have this, you still have the photo puzzle. I can't do anything there. I don't think we can go in the empty room yet, but let me try. Well, it doesn't show that there's any block on the door. That's what I'm that's why I'm saying, because usually there would be a red dot there that would show that you had to unlock it. Oh yeah, because the door hadn't appeared yet or something had happened before. <sighs> oh, yep, here we go. Yeah, this is the spare room. Remember when we first thought it was the detective's this... room? This is my room. The empty room wasn't meant for patients, but many came and went anyway. Mr. Waits preferred to keep the door locked. He didn't consciously think so, but his primitive instincts wanted to keep visitors from entering in either direction. Where is my control? I belong here. So she has the same thing where she thinks it's her room. Yeah, it seems like they're going through the same psychological crap. All right, here we go. Listen to me. When I get back, one XXXX. I know that number. Where's that from? I we have this. a we have a name drop. I Death wrote do that. Us part. Hmm, so she was married, which I think they've kind of hinted at before. I don't know the combination. Wait, maybe I do. Nineteen hmm. eighteen. It's always left, right, left, right? Uh, y yes. It, it should be left, right, left. I might have fucked that up. Yeah, let me try that again. If it'll or is it right, left, right. No, actually, no, it's right, left, right, because you always go clockwise. Clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise. Mm 
What are the numbers? 1918. Oh, I never, all right, never mind. You got it. Flash bulb. All right, so that's the camera puzzle there. Darling, I finally found that photograph from my time in France during the war. I don't expect this to be your fiancé, but it did make me think of him. What an incredible man he must have been. You were lucky in a way. He could have been a nobody and died falling into the Mississippi. Instead, he volunteered to travel across the world to fight for people in despair, dying with honor like Achilles at Troy. I am jealous of you. Or maybe him. It's all incredibly romantic. That's what I wanted to say. Please feel free to use my camera if you want to. It might cheer you up. It might bring him closer to you. Even if just in memory. Ruth. Hmm. How long have I been here? So that's why Ruth was so close to us. Uh... Huh. So that's Ruth's room. Hey, stop fighting, you guys. Get out of here. And that's what happens when dogs smell bacon. Is this how you travel? Rages on, and America is doing its part to hold back the German aggression. Ships from Boston and New Orleans arrived yesterday to bolster our gallant forces in France. These men will play a crucial role in helping our allies defend the innocent and defeat the German war machine. In trenches, they will defend themselves against the charging horde with razor-sharp ingenuity, all while planning how to advance the front with the use of artillery, machine guns, and pure American spirit. But there are more things than bullets and explosives that can cheat a man out of his God-given right to live. On the home front, a deadly influenza has claimed many lives. In New Orleans, almost a thousand souls have perished in... Alright, so this is a new area. We haven't seen this yet. So they are not reusing areas, because I don't remember this in uh, the detectives, do you? Uh... It was a while ago when we played that, but yeah, I don't, I'll I don't find remember you this too. area specifically. Although I'm trying to remember because this looks like it, it, they make it look like a World War One trench. Yeah, I don't think he had the World War One trench. His story was basically about saving the girl. Yeah. This is this is about losing her husband in the war. Is there anything in that shack back there? We don't want to miss it. What is going on with the sound? Oh, do you hear that? That's hear fucking what? magnificent. We got a new sound glitch. We got stutter one. sound, everybody. Okay, so we can't uh, interact with anything. Uh, it doesn't look like we missed anything, so we'll keep going. This would have been World War One. Yeah, it would have been World War One. Mustard gas everywhere. You were saying? Now we can interact. We couldn't before. What was in there? Yeah, they get in there, unfortunately. Don't tease us. Give us stuff. Oh, hi. Oh, you're dead. Shoot him. Oh, I, <sighs> I got an axe. <sighs> Alright, never mind. He's dead. Uh, Alright, never mind. He can't be hit, so he is legitimately dead. You were waiting for him to get up, too? I mean, they. they there's that. that is a blatant one if it actually was true but I guess it's just, it's just there for yeah. the fact yeah to show you yeah. I'd be curious if they're gonna make a second one wasn't there a it second was game where a John game, died actually? maybe this meant she could save him yeah I think there's three games and then you have all the remakes like the first one's been remade like a dozen times I think the last one from what I've heard is like the early 2000s type of game. And that stereotypical, like, uh, I think we both did a movie on it. Or 
Uve Bowl, however you say his name. So there's, there's different pathways to go. Yeah, I think he did an Alone in the Dark based on the, like, the newer remake. Before this one, I should say. The one with all the flashing lights and shit, wherever where he had the shot, the gunshots and the dark thing. Okay. <sighs> Two pathways. John! No, it's not him. We can <sighs> from that way. Can't go up there. This must be the way we need to go. <sighs> Is there a dead body? Yeah, there's a dead body in there. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing we can pick up. John! Stop giving us boxes with nothing in it! Always checking the holes. They are gonna put the- they are gonna make those things alive. I'm sorry. There's no way you're they setting that up do. and There's nothing's There's no way you do. set that up and not do it. They're gonna try to grab at us, we're gonna have to run the other way. I am noticing that this one is having some stuttering. Come on, you cannot tease. Ah! Somebody wants to touch your butt. Oh god, I, I, I thought I was you. done with you. <laughs> okay, you heard the, the audio jetter, right? Stutter? Yeah, no, I definitely heard that one. Second. Yeah, I'm giving it a minute to see if- Oh, hi there! Shoot it. We ain't playing this game today. Holy shit, lady! I was yeah, just coming to see how you were doing. <laughs> What's this? Damn it! You're teasing me. You're cock teasing me with boxes, and you're not even giving me collectibles. Game, do you know the rules? Wait a minute. Can you do anything with that door? <sighs> no. Look, it's uh. uh yeah, yeah. Never mind. I see it. That monster was like, holy shit. She's packing. I wonder if it was supposed to do that or if that was a glitch. I don't know, but it's funny either way. Yeah. Give me a secret. Well, there's also yeah. there was a tunnel that went the other okay, way. Okay, yeah, so I don't know we if... want to go the other way. Well I, was, well, I was just about to say, I don't know if this is the way you're supposed to go or if this is an offshoot. No, that's what oh, I was no, never mind. Okay, it's a dead end. You have to go this hey way. Hey, buddy, are you gonna get up? Nope, okay. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah. 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 I really wish Mocha would stop. Stop what? He's yamming me. Then just mute him. What do you think I do? He sends me like six a day. I have the sound off on the DMs, right? 
Time to learn a lesson. Fuck. The lesson is apparently don't fuck with those things. <sighs> oh, it's that thing. Shotgun to the face. It's <sighs> what the fuck? That was a big worm. That was its arm. <sighs> oh. Can't go this way. Okay. Any secrets? Nope. <sighs> Thank you. At least that Thank gave you for the you alcohol. I was going to say, at least that gave you something. I Fuck fucking man. hate how they control that thing. Well, I think it's supposed to be something you kind of do on the <gasps> fly, not keep with you. Yeah, but you're supposed to be able to hold it, but if you I keep forgetting if you don't actually hold the button <sighs> down, it gets pissy about it. It's really <sighs> finicky with that button. He doesn't like you. Well, that didn't do as much as I was hoping. <sighs> Ow! Fuck! Dick! Oh, wow. God, I had no way to react. Wow, he two-shotted you. Yeah, he did. He must have been really pissed after the last time. I did Tommy gun his ass, to be fair. Do you have a grenade launcher? Does this look like Resident Evil? Look, I'm just asking. You have to pay extra for that. Take out your shotgun and blow his nuts off. I think I just bypassed that guy entirely. No, he's here. Yeah, this is where you met him before. You, you went down here. No, I met the first enemy. I didn't even remember there being a first enemy. The worm guy. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I think it's saved after you killed him. Maybe, uh... Oh, why would you fucking give this to me then? <clears throat> because he's probably going to chase you up there, or it was for the other guy. We don't have any bullets. Oh, the sound. I'm fucking loving the sound glitch. Oh, this is beautiful. Do you, you want to know what hell sounds like? I'm listening. It gets progressively worse. <sighs> We broke this game beyond beyond fixing at this point. Where the fuck is he? Oh, he fucked off. Okay. Oh, he doesn't like the Tommy gun to the face. There's nothing here. Jump up your ass. There's always something there. God damn it, there's a war going on outside. Yeah, but that's not our concern. Oh, sound issue. Come back, baby. <laughs> Everyone that hears that in the recording, it is it is fun. I have no idea what's causing it. Terrifying. Yeah, they terrifying. Pandex nipples. Because we know he's going to show back up. Find as much ammunition as you can carry. Buttholes. Alright, let's see. I messed with something. Let's see if that helps with the sound issues. Well, shnikes. Okay, so we have that. I hear it out there. I think it's going to make you go outside, unfortunately.
It's okay, I've got a Tommy gun. Bring it. Ah! Oh, yes. Yeah, it's back. <sighs> oh, God, welcome back, sound issue. I love you. Never leave us, it makes it funnier. Ha <laughs> ha! Round two, motherfucker! Oh, no, this is round three. Yeah, he really doesn't like Tommy guns. Yeah, I have a funny feeling he respawns in every area you go in, so... I think you're supposed to just run away from him. But god, this is For funny. now, I mean, he's probably the boss of this level, but yeah, he's, he's probably supposed to run away from him. He's just like, bitch, why do you keep Tommy gunning my ass? What did I do to you? You can break those. You're right. <clears throat> <clears throat> She is very good with that thing. Are those swords? Yeah, nuts. Oh, they are. <sighs> yeah. Have we been in here yet? I don't know. Yeah. Let's find out. This we looks, don't have a map, so. I was gonna say this looks different. <sighs> Secrets? Nope. What's that? Oh, come on. Come off it. Stop doing that. He's coming. And with him come sound issues. He's the sound issue monster. I figured it out. That's his wow. secret. Yeah. He's the sound issue monster. Every time he shows up, we have sound issues. You can break the door! Coming. <sighs> Butt fuck you. Yeah. I lived. But aren't you dead on the inside? Yeah. Well, our sound is. He is too. Fuck you. Game. Did the game just freeze? Mm-hmm. Game, don't you crash on <sighs> me. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'll give you a minute. I'll give you a minute. Okay, you good? You good, game? Okay. It's, you're at the end game. I'm going to make sure... I'm going to make your life hell. Yes. Today, the American Expeditionary Forces face considerable John? losses in France. A brave men fallen on the John will forever be oh, as John. Not of just Europe. But John's having world. a bad day. What's the matter? Emily? President Woodrow Wilson spoke to I our can't do this. Widows, asking them to stand tall. What's the matter? Their I can't take you Europe's dying again. Speak of them proudly and remember I'm them. still hurting. What's the matter, Emily? But the war effort in Europe is not our own. Your death was just so... Death numbers on the home front Shameful. are on the rise due to the influenza known as the Spanish flu. The New Orleans City Council decided to open yet another emergency hospital in the old Dersetto plantation. So the hospital wasn't just for the mentally ill, but for the sick. Or at least originally. Sound issue? Are you back, or is it gone because we killed the monster? Where is this? Where am I? Oh, we're we're I having. Uh, I don't know, but it's frozen on my screen. I think it's trying. Come and on, you can do to this. An overwhelming smell of muscle. <laughs> yes, we can. Damn. And it crashed. Yep. Yeah. So welcome back. We totally didn't crash. Not at all. 
The game just does not want us to finish it. Oh, you can't see it, Mike. Yes, I, I didn't know you were streaming it yet. It's okay. Discord doesn't want to pick it up either. This game is cursed. Cursed. Come on. What's going to load first, the game or Discord? This game is very, very cursed. And only in the slightly hilarious way. What's in here? Um. Oh, come on. Okay, scripted. I need the key. <sighs> what the fuck is going on? Uh, um. That's a very good question. It looks like the trash is alive. Or haunted. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with haunted, I've... given given the way this game. This game is just breaking as you're playing it. I don't know if it's supposed to do that, but I is don't feel like it's update? supposed to. I don't. I have to see when the last update to this game was. Just making sure the VTuber rig didn't die too, because this thing seems to be determined to take everything and its mother out. That's better. <sighs> Joke's on you, game. Those are the actual puzzles I'm good at. Damn it. Do, do, do. Emily was back at DeSetto, but sealed inside a part of the basement that was no longer in use. This was clearly a mistake. Emily had confronted her trauma. She deserved her freedom to carry on with her work on the contract. This prison felt like an insult, like the dark man was cheating her. If he wasn't going to honor her progress, then she was on her own. Of all the paperwork left inside this place, there had to be some document showing her a way out. She just had to figure out what the rooms were and how they were sealed. Wait, so now she has a contract with the Dark Man? Ah, uh, game. Stop getting. Oh, come on. <laughs> Why, though? What did I do to deserve this game? Oh, come on. What did I... Fucking finally. We're so close to the end game. Just give it to us. Box of biscuits. Up, oh, we got another finished. Close in the refuge. June 17, 1919. It is with a heavy heart that I must declare the DeSeto Refuge to be harmful beyond saving. As an emergency hospital, we have over the last two years treated hundreds of patients suffering the so-called Spanish flu. Unfortunately, our mortality numbers are unforgivable. While the influenza in itself was often successfully treated, many died of fungal infections and Sudden acts of violent madness. In order to dismantle the refuge safely, building engineers will survey what parts of the house are especially contaminated by the peculiar rot discovered by Jean-Baptiste Tambois. 
The rod is believed to be the main perpetrator in spreading the deadly fungal infection, but also the cause of the incurable madness. The most afflicted rooms will then be sealed permanently to create a cordon sanitaire. As the dead seem to exacerbate the spreading of the fungal infection, all bodies that can't be cremated by tomorrow will be forever entombed inside Dossetto's sealed section. The refuge was never meant to be permanent, and as the influenza epidemic seems to be in decline, it stands to reason that we shut the facility altogether. Many brave volunteers have helped for very little pay to treat those in need for almost two years, and we are forever in their debt. All surviving patients will be transferred to other medical facilities around New Orleans as soon as possible. At the end of the summer, we should be able to leave DeSetto to recover. Dr. Isaac Herbert Hmm, so the sealed room had, uh, they sealed it because of the fungus. The rot, which we've already seen. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out what the fuck this even is. Quiet. Shoot. 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 Sorry. Shoot. Technical drawings. All right. So let's see. That would be. Can I turn that? Kind of see from here where they would go. Hmm. The morgue. Okay, so the lab goes here. That might go there. Would be the morgue. Surgery. So that's surgery. Anything. Morgue. So where are the archives? Nikes. Where? Let's see. Can't really see. That had to have left there. Okay, so that's right. That's right. Yep, that's right. The price is wrong, Bobby. Surgery's right. Let's see now. I guess I have to figure out where. Can we open this? Where am I wrong on this? This one's a little bit. Yeah, that would have been the stairs, okay. I had only one entrance. Oh, I see where I was wrong. That's it. So 
Maybe the foyer was over here. Yeah. There we go. What's that? That's the right room. I don't know. It's too fucking blurry to understand. What is that, Mike? A list of names. God, the uncanny valley in the faces. They tried. So he came back? He didn't die in the war? 217. Oh, John. I didn't know this is where you would end up. I didn't want to know. I stopped visiting you. Because I couldn't stand the indignity of your awful illness. Bitch. I was ashamed of you. Ashamed of myself. Forgive me. Please, John. Let me go. <laughs> He's just chilling back. Are we done here? Is this what you wanted? Here, bitch, I'm out. Key to truth. So what do you think is going to start chasing us? A giant floppy monster. It does seem like the dark man isn't the villain in this. I'm going to go back in there because I guarantee you there's a secret. Or it's going to freeze the game. I'm good with either. <sighs> I yeah, was there right. You go. Toe tag. That's another one. Dying complete. with. So that's the war photo we saw. So now we just need that one. Which I don't think we're going to find them, but we almost have this complete. <sighs> Anything else we might have missed? Can't open that. Yet. So yeah, this is a new area too. So that guy that said there aren't any new areas was wrong. Seems like the well, ending areas are different. Mm. John Marcus died at Deceto of the Spanish flu. Emily stopped visiting him because she didn't want to see him waste away. She adopted a lie because it felt better. Emily hated the pathetic man that passed away in Deceto, but she was very proud of the man she made up, a man who died a martyr in the trenches of France. This must have been the true trauma that the dark man specified in the contract. But why was it Emily's and not Jeremy's? Because Jeremy isn't the only one that made the contract. Look around real quick to see if we can find anything. Please stop getting me stuck on things, game. <laughs> Nothing in 
here. Just floating roaches, don't mind them. Did we miss a jump scare? <sighs> yeah, I think that that one is just... Lottie's room still has stuff? Okay, we can't go that way, though. <sighs> oh, it's gonna hold our hand. Yes, it is. Game, what was that pause for? We didn't do anything to deserve that. Hmm. Stephanie's room we can't go into. Is there anything else in Jeremy's room? Yeah. We won't make it out of here last. Just wanted to check. Do not disturb. Prisoner of Ice. Miss Hartwood, lock the door, will you? I'd rather not run into dear Dr. Gray if I can help it. This feels strange. So very strange. There we go. How does it feel almost being done with the game? Sexual. Mike. You okay? This place? It's like something from my childhood. It's just the private study of a very peculiar man. I didn't turn on that. I think this is it. I'm properly mad. Well, you should be. Dr. Gray's playing with fire. Their set a powder keg of loonies, all ready to play their part in a murderous cult. I'm trying to say I've lost my mind, Detective. The Hartwood curse has caught up with me. I'm sure you're exaggerating. Try to focus on whatever you've been doing. Right. Breaking the Dark Man's contract. Does it even matter anymore? Can we not go in the other room? There's a book missing. There we 
there it is. Just gotta get to it. Myth of the Golden Fleece. A secret door. Looks like it. Careful. Let me go first. Let's see. I think the camera angle now is we're here. talking. Great job, Emily. Our reference to the old, to the original game. This is all supposed to reference the original game. You'd be really in a strange spot. Found anything? Oh, Dr. Gray's in so deep, I knew it. He's as mad as his patients. I mean, look at this. She who can till the soil of this sick world and begin again. The black goat of the woods with a thousand young. Absolute insanity. Excuse you. Stop calling me insane. I have the strangest sensation that this is somehow Jeremy's room. What? No. This is Dr. Gray's private quarters. Whispers would say otherwise. I feel... I want to apologize, Detective, for my elusive behavior tonight. I'm glad you haven't given up on me and my uncle yet. Ah, oh, you got nothing to apologize for. In fact, you've been out of my hair for most of the evening, you're self-reliant, and you've been helping with your own particular brand of investigation. As far as I'm concerned, you're an exemplary client. Thank I like you, this Edward. version of him. Mr. Carnby. I like this version of him. This has something to do with the numbers for the... Good to finally meet you, Mr. Hartwood. I'm here on the behalf of your brother, Philip. Talisman. Oh, yeah, we've seen that one. Come on. The snake dagger. A mono... We've seen that one before, too. So nothing new there. Something in the other room, I can't remember. I hate this camera. Can I go in here? Yes. I believe I can. There she goes. <sighs> Furniture key. I can't believe I didn't see that before. <laughs> this this camera, these controls. Yeah, this is supposed to be like the old game. <sighs> okay, so we got that open. <laughs> oh god, can you see how bad this is controlling? Yeah, no, with that camera angle, it's uh yeah. It's not good. Hello? Pandas? Who's there? Oh. Jeremy? Herbert, call back later. Jim, the he's breather. with the dark man. I love heavy You breeze. can't save him. Jeremy is with the dark time. man? Where? Who is he? What, what is the dark man? The Hartwood curse. He will come for you too. I God wish I knew it, what Yuri, direction go, he was given for that. God damn it, Yuri. Go do Marvel Midnight Suns 2. Yes! The voice on the phone was somehow familiar, yet so strange. Who was that? Apparently Spider-Man had a ton of pain. <laughs> Southern Spider-Man. Oh, I hate it. Let's see. Snake dagger, the clarity. We have the snake dagger right here.
So what you reading? Can I see? No? Okay. Is it a porno mag? Oh, you know what they did? It's tank controls. Yeah, no, that's exactly what it is. You didn't realize that? Yeah, but tank controls without being able to use the D-pad is so evil. Yes, it is. Oh, that's just cruelty. I don't remember how... I think we had... Oh, oh, oh there we go. I don't know... Make clear where the common looks. There's no numbers other than that, and I don't think that's it. Hmm. So what are the numbers I have to use? I can try now because it's three we need three numbers. Do I have to see the time? Because I can't see the time. Hold on. Hold on. I'm an idiot. That thing on the ground will probably tell me. Uh, let's see. Let me get a picture of that. One second. So then that'll make things a whole lot easier. There we go. That should make this puzzle easier. Tank controls, you can burn in hell for all I care. I don't know how people like them. Fuck you and your tank controls. Bank it. There we go. Game, did we really just need to go through all that? <laughs> I'm going to die. You heard the telephone ring, right? No, the telephone's cut off. I tried calling the police earlier. Yeah, that's what I figured. She's going with it. No. None of Emily's experiences seem to line up with reality anymore. Even when she accomplished something, it seemed absurd. Was this what it was like to be completely consumed by the hardwood curse? Not mind-numbing terror, but a continuous state of confusion breaking you down. Which one would suck worse? Continuous mind-numbing terror, or a continuous feeling of confusion? Continuous mind-numbing terror. Hey, Mr. Carnby? What? Nothing, right? It's a closet. That's right, Detective. I'll see you later. I have to finish this. Do they ever question them You're just going vanishing? inside the closet? I know what it looks like, but I can't explain it, much less justify it. All right. You do what you have to do, miss. Goodbye, detective. No one questions why they suddenly vanish? The icy wastes before her felt profound and deeply wrong. Like staring into a grisly wound, revealing bone under the fleshy mounds of muscle. Seeing layers of Jeremy that she would rather stay hidden. Get. Shoot. Off. <sighs> this is it, the last of the game. You ready to do this? Or do you want to call it here? It's up to you.
I'm good to continue. I want to finish this, honestly. Flare gun. Hell yeah. And flares. Right to the face. Oh, there we go. That's another one done. We found the ancient Stellarium perched on a cliff facing the Arctic Ocean after a day of sailing due north of the Eskimo encampment. Jacob van Ostadt was our most keen member of the expedition. He had been chasing down the source of a peculiar type of crystallized metal present in several sacred items among the natives on the northeast coast of Greenland. The site was a remarkable find for any explorer, and we were all enraptured in our search for enlightenment and meaning. The surviving architecture seemed almost unearthly in origin and astonishingly sophisticated. The metal Jacob was searching for was abundant, almost ubiquitous. We were so taken by our find that we were surprised by the sun falling below the horizon. As we quickly picked up our gear, ready to head back to our camp, Jacob von Ostadt declared that he wanted to stay. He was adamant. We begged him to reconsider. The night would be getting colder by the hour, and we feared for all our safety. Jacob refused, threatening us with violence if we wouldn't leave him alone. As the snowfall turned heavier, we left him there on his own. The next day the weather became worse, and we had to spend hours enforcing our shelter as our tents became increasingly useless. The group had written off Jacob, thinking he must be dead. I had an urge to make one final attempt to save him, so I headed out as darkness fell with a handful of flares and headed toward the coast and up the climb towards the Stellarium. That's when I saw him, transfixed by a burning sky, that celestial lantern. Jacob keeled over and let out a painful shriek that struck me with such fear and pity. He was crying in agony, for the cold weather had ravaged his flesh. I called out to him, and he turned to face me. His vacant stare held me in place like a needle through a butterfly, and he said, You must leave now, Hashtan. Go, and never come back. And so I left. Sorry about that. I don't remember if we got that one the first time. So we got that. We have enough of that one. You can tell me to keep going, but I'm going to look for a secrets game. Oh, that's the marker. Okay. I know this part was in the uh, original, in the detectives, too. Come on, we're almost there. There's a mountain. Do you have any secrets? And drinks. Booze works too. Up we go. Time to fight the giant monster. Definitely giving us a lot of stuff for this boss fight. You know what that thing reminds me of? Was it, um, it was a remake 
Was it 12 angry, or was the angry ghost one? Or the 13 ghosts? Yeah, 13 ghosts did have a remake. That was the one with Tony Shalhoub. Yeah, and, yeah uh, like, remember the, the machine? Yeah, yeah, the gyroscope thing. Yeah, that's what that reminds me of. Uh, a little bit. <laughs> Not as gold, obviously. <sighs> no, I think it was gold. No, I'm saying, like, this one isn't as gold as that one was. Oh. This one looks a bit more metal-y. Hi there, friend! Who are you? What do you want? Emily! You should not have come! Yeah, hey, we can talk about this! It's too late for that! It's too late! How did you dodge that? He doesn't seem to like the flare gun. No. Why don't you share for the regular gun? I will in a moment. I gotta turn you on. Give me a second. There we go. All right, I'll shoot him with a regular gun. If he doesn't box me, <laughs> that'll work too. Is that actually shotgun to the face. He's running around a <laughs> He's running around in like a circle pattern. There he goes. Kick, 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 kick. Okay, he's dead. Shenanigans. If the dark man is going to be in the middle of your existence, Jeremy, then at least set everything in order. I assume you have to line those up. So that you can... I am trying. I feel like that puzzle was much easier this time than, than uh, with the detective. You still have to do something in the middle, don't you? No, 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 I had it. Why? What? You finicky fucking game. Oh, I remember why I hated this puzzle. Fine, you want to go backwards? We'll go backwards. I think I have the angle on the outside wrong. I just have to fix that one so I can fix this shit. Took a minute. It's it seems like the ending part is loading very slow. Get sucked into the bubble. Was it good for you as it was for the Elder Gods? Yeah. How? I, I killed you! Oh, honey, you don't ever kill these things, are you kidding me? Oh god, he, uh, what the fuck is going on? He's not attacking you, he's getting close. Oh, keep shooting him on the ground. Oh, you can go up to him, you can go up to him and stab him. Go up to him and stab him. <laughs> there you go. Alright, shoot him with the shotgun again a couple of times. Oh, 
the? Damn, he does some serious fucking damage. All right, you know what? Stab him. <laughs> One more time. What happens if you start shooting him now? I, I think he got involved. He won't go down. Yeah. yeah, you can't. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't stand there and just unload onto him. You have to go around. Stab him. One more time. Go down, yeah. bitch. Yeah. No! <laughs> Not with me! Wait! No means no. At least I landed on him. I think this is the same, because I feel like I remember this from the detective. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we stabbed in the eye. <laughs> oh, we're dicks. Oh, we're still dicks even in this version. And yeah. No! I was hoping maybe we could change that. I don't understand. Why are you here? I did everything you wanted to break the pact. What else can I do? Wait, it did work. That's why you're coming after me. You're in my head now. In that case, I hope you enjoy your stay. Oh God, it's an ending. Stop. Don't worry, we got you. Well, shit. I love that that uncle keeps getting fucked no matter what we do. Good five. The final so, chapter. Did you want to call it here? Uh, how much is left in chapter five? I you don't know. We have remember. the last battle, so we can just save that. If you Once want. Once we to. get out of the cutscene. Don't we still have the chance to look through the house too? Yeah, let's save it. Once we can I think. Crazy little bitch. Are you alone? Or is he in there with you? Miss Hotwood is up. Heard you almost painted the foyer with your own blood and guts. <laughs> Good to see you still in one piece. Stick around, will you? It's gonna be an exciting night. Good to see you made it, miss. And all that ruckus, lot of gave you a healthy dose of that sleeping juice. Wasn't sure you'd be waking up again. What happened? You had a psychological breakdown. Tried to shoot yourself. Sorry for the manhandling, but we just wanted to save you. You also stabbed Jeremy in the eye. Is he alright? Hmm. He's a little strange, but everything else is back to normal. God, this kid's a little shit. Really? I broke the pact? I don't know what you did, but it worked. Let's see you standing up, miss. Jeremy, are you okay? I'm so sorry for hurting you. How can you ever forgive me? Emily, I missed you so. I do hope you'll stay with me for a while. Uncle, what's wrong? Oh, Is yeah, it Anastasia? He, he seems so meek. I wish that was the case. It turns out that you managed to lobotomize him. It's actually quite impressive, considering your technique. This is permanent? You sacrificed a piece of his mind to save the whole. It's a little like treating a bad knee by cutting off the leg. It's blunt, but it works. That's Christ. terrible! Perhaps but at least he won't suffer anymore. 
Do you remember the dark man, Jeremy? Ah, yes. Where did he go? I hope he is doing all right. You see? With a violent stab, you made any future treatment quite redundant. I assume you will be bringing him with you back to New Orleans. I will. I just need to find Detective Carnby. We already killed him, don't worry. Alright, so that is where we're going to leave it, everybody. So we'll see you for one final episode. Thanks for joining us. Good night.